There's two things I see right now that are basically holding people back from being successful as online personal trainers and building up that online business that trainers often want. Number one is having the right sort of mindset to actually do it, having the right mindset to go out, get it done, push as hard as you can and, and make it happen. The second one, which I'm going to talk a little bit more about right now, is, is time. Just having enough time to do everything that you need to do to be successful. So I wanted to go over just a couple of strategies. If your mindset is right, how to create the time to actually put in all the work that you need to do to create a successful online business. These are four ideas. Really just ideas that uh, we have used ourselves. So this is um, from experience of what myself and Adam did when we started PT Distinction, which has turned out pretty well for us. Um, it is also what I've heard from other people when doing interviews and, and just speaking behind the scenes. So something from Darren Casey, something from John Goodman. It's actually going to be five because there was a good idea from Glenn Bridges, which is very like John Goodman's as well. So I want to just go over those methods, those ideas, and then hopefully you can pick one that will work well for you and, and just help you create the time to actually build that really successful online training business. So I want to start with my own story and, and what I did at the start of PT Distinction. So many of you will know I was a, a full-time trainer and working five or six days a week. And what I had was about 25 sessions a week that I was doing with clients. And that was great. That was paying all the bills. And we started PT Distinction at a time where family-wise it was a bit crazy. We just had our first son and um, we just moved house uh, away from London and into the country. So what I decided to do to create the time was to actually cut my days down from five or six to originally three days. And then later on, two days. And, and I just said to my clients, look, this is when I'm available. It's going to be three long days. Book yourselves in. And actually, over the process, I lost just one client. And it was one weekly session because everyone else booked in at times that suited me. Now, I was lucky. I'd had these clients a long time. And we built up a great relationship over that time. But just saying, look, this is when I'm available, drawing the line there and having you know, no availability elsewhere worked really, really well for me. Um, Income-wise, didn't really drop at all. It was three long days. And then when it moved to two, it was two very, very long days. I'm talking sort of 4.30 until midnight quite often. Um, that was including traveling. But um, yeah, that's how long those days could be. But what it meant is I had two days, three days, four days to actually work on the online business, work on PT Distinction and, and get it off the ground. And then later on, as time went by, I moved it back to two days. And then further on, I, I gave up the face-to-face -face stuff completely. More so out of necessity because I simply didn't have the time with how busy PT Distinction was getting. But that method worked really, really well for me. It won't work for everybody and probably not everybody will have um, clients who can move around and clients who will move around like that. But it was very, very good for a trainer who had had clients for a long time and built up a good relationship. So next one, Adam, who is my brother. So we, we set up PT Distinction together. He is the, the computer genius behind it. Um, I was more the sort of training genius. Well, training. <laughs> um, and... What he did was a little bit crazy, but it worked <laughs> and it worked for him. And I'm just chucking out ideas here rather than saying, you have to do this, you have to do that. He completely gave up work. He had a little bit of savings. And what he did is he moved from England over to Thailand, which is a country he's always absolutely loved. And he basically set himself up in a little beach hut with Wi-Fi. Cost of living went down to, you know, pretty much nothing in comparison to what living in the UK is. You know, he was living on a couple of hundred pounds a month rather than, rather than a few thousand pounds a month. So what little savings he had went a much longer way. And by doing that, he could work full time. He could really, really work on the uh, the online business, work on PT Distinction and, and get it going. And, and that's what he did. And for the two of us, those methods work brilliantly. Um, you know, we yes, we've had tricky ish times financially when when setting it all up as as most businesses will, but 
we come to a point now where it's worked out really, really well and, and we both now have the time to do what we need to do. We have the finances to do what we need to do. So it was that initial step that made it all possible. Other methods I've heard that are brilliant, John Goodman talks about buying back your time at a discount. So essentially what you're doing, and this is very similar to what Glenn Bridges actually talks about as well. Um, you're starting up your online business with the limited time you have available where you're not training face-to-face -face clients. You then, with your first online client, second online client, third online client, when you've built up the income that is worth one or two face-to-face -face sessions a week, you get rid of those face-to-face -face sessions. So think of maybe least favorite clients or the most inconvenient spots. What you start to do is just use the money from your online business as you're building it up to create time elsewhere. You might first think about things like cutting the grass. You know, you might pay someone else to do that rather than doing it yourself. Um, things like cleaning the house, you might pay someone else to do that rather than doing it yourself as you bring in more money, just saving yourself hours. Um, and as I say, you can eventually drop a few sessions, face-to-face -face sessions here and there, if your priority is with the online stuff. So you just use the money you're making online to buy back a little bit of time and, and create more time to build your business. The final method I want to talk about um, was from Darren Casey. Now, Darren is a, a man of extremes, so this will not be for everyone, but it worked brilliantly for him, and, and you can tell that he is a very successful guy and, and has a great income and great clientele and is doing really well online. What he talked about was, was basically effectively ripping the Band-Aid off set himself a target, right, I'm going to stop doing face-to-face -face and I'm going to start doing online and I'm going to do that in X number of weeks. And he just, boom, went for it, got rid of all his clients, created all that time and, you know, put the pressure on himself to make sure that he delivered, that he got that online business going and that he got it working. It worked brilliantly for him um, and I'm sure it works very, very well for, for a number of other people. It's a high-risk strategy. But um, it can work, so if it suits you, great. Personally, I wouldn't choose that if you have a family, um, but that's just my, my preference. These are just a few methods that I have seen working for people who have built up successful online businesses, uh, creating that time initially to actually do it. And then as you get you know, building, you get going, your income becomes more online, it becomes easier to slowly filter out other things have the time to do what you need to do and, and work hard on it and really push it and push it well.